morning, FHS. My name's Marissa. And I'm Tyler. This week's episode features students in sports. We will shine some light on some of our athletics, like palms, cheer, and track. When the competition stepped it up, the palms team responded and became D1 Jazz Champions at State. The team consists of 28 dedicated girls who practice for three days a week, up to four hours a day. All this practice paid off since, once again this year, the girls' dance team fought their way through three regional competitions and competed against 16 teams at the lacrosse state competition to reclaim their spot in first place. Every year we kind of hit bumps in the road, but this year was uh, a year that we really had to bounce back and regroup as a team and we overcame and it was uh, really great to see us achieve at the end. Congratulations on your title. We look forward to your continued progress. For the third time in a row, the FHS varsity cheer team qualified for nationals. After falling short in the semifinals last year, they knew they had to work even harder to qualify for the finals this year. This year, we went to UCA Nationals down in Orlando, Florida, which we have done for the past three years. This year, we made it to finals and got sixth, which is a really big improvement from last year when we got 17th. In order to succeed at nationals, the girls knew that they had to give this season their all. We've pretty much been getting ready for this since summer because that's when our season starts, even though we don't have competitions until fall. The countless hours of practice put in by the whole team made for a groundbreaking final performance. A huge congratulations to the varsity cheer team. Your hard work during the season really paid off. Franklin High School is filled with many athletes. Here are a few of our seniors who decided to continue their sport onto the collegiate level, including Nathan Genrich, who has signed to Winona State to play football. On February 3rd, I signed to play Division I soccer at Indiana State University. And I would like to thank everyone that came to our signing day and that has supported me throughout the years. I recently committed to South Dakota State University uh, to play football at the Division I level, and I'd just like to say thanks to everyone who's shown me the support throughout all the years playing football. I signed to play Division I football at the University of South Dakota. I'd just like to thank all the football coaches at Franklin here that helped make it possible. Uh, I would like to thank all the coaches for helping me get where I am. I'm going to be rooming with Gavin at St. Cloud State and hopefully make an impact there. Recently I got offered to play football at St. Cloud, a D2 school. I just want to thank everyone over the years who supported me and I appreciate everyone that showed up to the signing day. We are all very proud of our student athletes and we wish them the best as they pursue their dreams of playing a college sport. As the track season approaches, athletes on the track team are starting to prepare after school. Off the blocks and around the hallways run the Franklin boys and girls track team as they prepare for their season through the winter. Um, well, after school track training, preseason is really important because then you get a feel for what track is like. Track if you train before yeah, yeah, season yeah. starts, it makes track way easier when it actually comes around. With a new season around the corner, the boys and girls track teams are encouraging underclassmen, specifically freshmen, to take advantage of preseason training. I highly recommend it for after school training for freshmen just because middle school track and high school track are completely different and yeah. if you get a feel for it beforehand, it makes track way easier when it actually comes around. If you're interested in track, after school practice takes place on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you have any questions, contact Joe Frisch, Brady Snelson, or Charlie Rodesky. It's time for this week's uproars. Thanks for helping to improve our school climate and for making FHS a better place for everyone. Thanks for being a good sport. I'm Tyler. If you found the hidden saber in this show, make sure to email the saberroar at gmail.com. And I'm Marissa. Keep up the great work, FHS.